Hi everybody and welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another one of our course vlogs. Now we're out here at the beautiful Tierra Rajada Golf Club out here in Moore Park, California. Shout out to my boy Austin here for the invite and hooking it up today. This golf course is treacherous playing all through the canyons here. Oh boy, gonna have to play some target golf here in the wind. Hey, if you're new to the channel, please click the subscribe button down below. I'd love to have you back here week after week. And don't forget to give the video a thumbs up at the end if you like it. We'll see you out there in the first hole. It's par five down the hill. Here we go. Starting right off the back of the clubhouse here and paralleling the driving range. The first hole is gonna start halfway up the hill and head all the way downhill to the green. First off the tee, you're gonna thread the needle between the driving range there on the left and the ninth hole on the right. Air off on the right hand side though, as all of that hill will kick your ball down back into the fairway. It's gonna be about 310 yards to the end of the driving range where that lake is gonna to start to come into play off the tee. And as we approach into the green, your layup here is gonna be tricky as you have another lake protecting the green from about 150 yards all the way in. Your approach shot needs to be on the right hand side to stay dry and coming into the green it is relatively flat only protected on the left hand side by the water and that bunker is strangely on the left hand side too leaving the right hand side wide open for you. Now the wind was kicking up you see the flag on the left hand side of the screen we have plenty of breeze to deal with today and the first hole was playing straight downwind and downhill that was about a 375 yard drive a five iron downwind will go 230 yards and i flushed this one pin high to the left hand side just over the lake 30 feet for eagle here on the first hole Now that's the way we like to start with the big bird. Two under par to start the day, and now we got a little baby par three. Lots of wind off the right, 185 yards to the center. This is gonna play slightly downhill off the tee, and it's just a matter of precision into the small little green. Trying to play the wind here with a big high draw coming in off the right. It was just a little deep on the flag here. It was on the green though, another 25 foot look. <laughs> Is it even possible to start any better than that? Three under par through two holes and we're headed to the most difficult hole on the entire golf course. Playing right up here against the freeway, this is well elevated up on top of the hill. The tee shot is going to have to be threaded into that narrowing fairway that's going to crest the hill and start to head down. About 150 yards out from the fairway, we're going to start heading down all the way towards this gigantic green sitting at the bottom of the hill. Now this is a very, very narrow target off the tee, but I was comfortable with the driver. It's important when you have a difficult shot to pick your most comfortable club off the tee, even if it maybe isn't the proper one. Driver here really narrowed my chances of going down the hill, but I was able to perfectly thread the needle and just catch the left hand side of the rough here. Just a smooth pitching wedge to the middle of the green. Now I'm kind of playing salvage golf here. 45 feet under the hole. Got to lag it on down there to four feet. And now we have a treacherous par putt. Now this round is starting to shape into one of those rounds that just comes every now and again. This fourth hole. A long, brutal par five that is going to head all the way up the hill to the green. 
I mean, I, I've never seen a par 5 that climbs the hill as dramatically as this. And not only that, we were playing right back into the teeth of the wind. It does curl a lot around the corner as it climbs, but every single shot, you're just going to have to add as much yardage as possible to com compensate for that uphill slope. Now, thankfully, they took out some bunkers that were initially down the left-hand side of this landing area, and you can see here, I was right in the middle of that old dead bunker. So, it's on the grass. No way I'm going for the green. I have no idea where it is up and around the corner, so we're just going to lay up here with a 5-iron to the middle of the fairway. A simple gap wedge from 100 yards as the wind was now off my left-hand side and not so much affecting the shot in my face. The shot to this infinity green was ideal, 10 feet under the hole for another birdie look. Now, I think you all can start to see the round that this is shaping up to be. This par 4 fifth hole is playing right along the top of this ridge. Left and right is dead. The only way you got to go is down that green grass and down the fairway. Pick your club of choice. This is the 17 handicap and theoretically the easiest hole on the front nine. So select any club you want. There is a big wide fairway down there even though you can't see it from the tee. It's gonna be another driver for me. I'm just gonna to try to lay it right short of those green side bunkers. Playing the wind once again as it was off my right shoulder on this tee shot, I was able to sling that draw right down the middle. Just a knockdown sand wedge for me here into this green, and I sent it a little bit long. It's always difficult to gauge, you know, 60 yards versus 70 versus 80. That's really the type of precision I'm looking to gain as I've replaced all my wedges in my bag since this round. So we're gonna have a couple more vlogs with my old wedges. But sooner or later, you're going to see just how more precise I'm going to be with these new Cleveland wedges in the bag. On to the sixth hole here, a long uphill par four, 412 yards. It's going to play downhill off the tee, but significantly uphill and blind into the green. Make sure you have enough distance to get your ball over on the left-hand side of the fairway. It's going to give yourself the best angle into this green. And luckily, with the severity of the mountain slopes, there's no sand or bunkers to deal with on the entire hole. Hitting the two iron here off the tee for the first time as driver was going to be too much and had the potential of going through the fairway. So I just laid this down to the bottom side of it and had a nice pitching wedge distance up into this blind green. I selected a target in the distance and just tried to hit my number and bang. Three feet away, tap in birdie and we're down to four under par through six holes. This seventh hole is absolutely gorgeous sitting here just on a little finger of a ridge i'll just let the pictures speak for themselves Now with the downhill and the severe wind, it was another pitching wedge for me to this front hole location. A smooth one here was just going to go a little long and stretch out to kind of the middle of the green here. And once again, it's 30 feet away for birdie. This distance is becoming very comfortable for me today out here with these green speeds as I can just tap it on down there for par after par. And hey, some of them we've seen can even go in. Here, this eighth hole, another awesome par four playing right along one of the ridges. This one is severely treacherous as if you go long through the fairway, your ball is down the canyon floor. 
Make sure you have enough to carry the fairway bunker there and land it off in the fat part of the fairway. And as you come into the green, there is no room to miss. Short, you're in the bunkers, and long, you're in the rolling terrain there just before it reaches the canyon. Now I selected a five iron here off the tee as I'm trying to hit a perfect distance out to the middle of the fairway and the wind was at my back, but I just didn't carry enough with the wind and it landed here in the fairway bunker. Now only 100 yards away, I am using my 145 yard pitching wedge to just try to chip it out of the bunker as this was really downwind and I didn't want to get it up and deal with any of those breezes. The ball did go long over the green and a long up and down here. Gonna have to sink this 10 footer for par and it just wasn't meant to be. The first bogey of the day finally comes on the eighth hole. It's all right, we're still three under par. Now the last hole here on the front nine is another par five, making this front nine play to a par of 37. The back nine is gonna play to a par of 35. Now off the tee, as you see, it's straight down the hill, but then into the green, we are going to be climbing all the way back up. This is the inverse of the first hole, and you're just about to see how much hill there really is on this golf course. Up, 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 all the way to the green, and playing 575 yards and into the wind. This is one of the longest par fives I've seen in a very long time. A couple of bunkers protect the front of the green, so even into the green, we have to be precise. Another smooth drive that's gonna find the fairway here, but it went practically nowhere off the tee. And we have 300 yards plus into the green. I didn't measure it. All I knew is that I had to hit a four iron up there as far as I can. And playing 100 yards here back into this stiff breeze, I took my 145 yard pitching wedge again and couldn't even get it all the way back to the hole. Hey folks, thanks for joining us for the front nine. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below and like the video. We'll see you next week. Later.